Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, now just 45 days away from its official release by Disney and Lucasfilm. This month of November, by the way, is going to be a very important month for these companies, Lucasfilm and Disney, in order to really promote the movie, in order to make it a box office success for The Rise of Skywalker specifically, and to really end the Skywalker saga in a satisfying way for fans around the world. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 that I will say that I'm very excited about is, of course, Palpatine himself and the fact that Ian McDermott is back for the role as Darth Sidious. And to see him on the big screen one last time in a Star Wars movie, a part of the Skywalker saga, I think is going to be by far the highlight of the movie. I think that's the main reason as to why a lot of fans want to go ahead and see this movie without a doubt is because of Palpatine, Rey, and Kylo Ren, and exactly what that's all going to look like, right? That entire dynamic between the three different characters. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm, this is where things begin to get very intriguing for the character of Palpatine and more. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's explained that during the reshoots of the film, during the months of August, September, and October, is when many adjustments were made to the second and third acts of the script, where it's said that Disney and Lucasfilm added on to Palpatine's backstory in between the events of of the originals and the sequels after his survival on the on the second Death Star that will be explained. Now, it's described that Palpatine's son will have a big explanation in the film as to what his role as a character was before the events of The Force Awakens, and that this will all be told in the third act of the film, and was said to have been inspired by a rejected concept by George Lucas for the old expanded universe back in the early 2000s that is now going to be used for the upcoming film. J.J. Abrams wanted to add on the Palpatine story in the movie that would serve as a bridge between the originals and the sequels that will also explain elements elements of Rey's lineage in the movie. George Lucas was said to have directed a scene with Ian McDermott that explains a specific tale about Palpatine's son, and that it was one of the hardest scenes to write and direct for both Lucas and J.J. Abrams to get it done correctly for the fans on the big screen. The story of Palpatine's survival as well as his children will be a part of the second and third acts of the film. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, first things first, I want to talk a little bit about Palpatine's survival. I totally feel and understand a lot of people out there on their, I guess you could say their views on how it affects the Return of the Jedi story and their concerns about how it's going to ultimately destroy Anakin Skywalker's sacrifice. You know, yes, he did save his own son, Luke Skywalker, you know, his sacrifice was not in vain, but at the same exact time, you know, what he did did not necessarily destroy the Sith once and for all, as we previously thought in the original trilogy. So, I completely understand that. It kind of reminds me when I saw Terminator Dark Fate. I'm not going to get into spoilers of that film, by the way, but in that movie, let's just say that in the first 10 to 15 minutes, it completely changes how you view Terminator 1 and 2 and all the other movies. Now, with that being said, moving past all of this, Palpatine's son is really going to be a major part of Episode 9. And what's really great about this is that it kind of expands off of what was already lightly told to us, the fans, in the expanded universe. You know, there were elements like this about Palpatine's son that were either rejected or barely even touched on in the EU. You know, we had Palpatine's family and Palpatine's father. That was a big thing in the Star Wars Legends material in the 1990s and early 2000s. Uh, but in this particular change by Disney and Lucasfilm, during the reshoots of the movie back in August, September, October, you know, these were very important months for themselves in order to really reshape the second and third acts of this movie by changing a lot of Palpatine scenes. And by far, I think the fact that they're including Palpatine's son into the mix as a part of this story of Palpatine in between episodes 6 and 7, and how it's going to have a massive effect on Rey's lineage slash Rey's identity in the movie, could very well have all to do with Rey's father actually being the son of Emperor Palpatine himself, which makes a lot of sense. Again, like I say, Palpatine's children, he must have had more than either, you know, just one kid. Some way, somehow, we're not quite sure who in the world would even have a kid with Palpatine is beyond me. Now, we do know that Palpatine, if you look at the comics, 
from what was actually told in the comics, created Anakin Skywalker by use of manipulating Shmi Skywalker through the ways of the Force, essentially initiating the birth of Anakin Skywalker that was hinted at in the comics and is going to be explained even further in The Rise of Skywalker. So that's another thing to look forward to and could very well explain as to exactly how Palpatine even has a family. It could have something to do with the Force or how he's just a creator of those actual children, perhaps. So when we look at Emperor Palpatine this movie, really is a big deal by Disney and Lucasfilm. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about all of that below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.